Hey everyone, it's Raphael, and I'm going to show you how to play Who Wrote Holden Caulfield by Green Day. So I'm going to demonstrate, and let's get right to it. So the chords are on screen, um, that was the demonstration, so let's go ahead and get right to it, alright? So I'm going to play slowly so you can also keep track and also follow along. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, so I'm barring the 6th fret with my um, index finger and then I'm putting my ring finger on the D on the 8th fret and then I'm going to put my pinky directly underneath that, it's going to be on the G string. So for the um, pre-chorus, it's going to be an F minor and then a G sharp 5 and then we get right to here where we're going to play our original chord, the D sharp 5 again. Yeah, so that's the chorus, so you repeat that same thing four times and then get back to the original strum pattern for the verse 2. Yes, I've already demonstrated to you, so I don't have to go through that part again, but let's go ahead and get to the important part. So this is the only thing left we need to do because once you've got the other chord progression down that I've already shown, that's pretty much like 95% of the song and the only thing really different next is the um, part after the second chorus so let's go ahead and get right to it. The chords will be the same but the strum pattern is quite interesting so Alright, that's the only thing that you gotta do, and then when it comes to the pre-chorus again, right before the last chorus, just... Just like earlier, right? So, basically, all you gotta do, really, is not worry about the different chords, but simply just the strum pattern, that's why it changes. Alright, so, once you've got that down, you've got the entire song, so... Thank you very much for watching, Raphael Alt, and I will see you soon.